for this exercise, click on Open and browse to Chapter 11. Open the file Chapter 11 Generating Pipe Layouts. In a previous exercise, we created pipe systems for these south side fan coil units. In this exercise, we want to generate pipe layouts. With the fan coil unit selected, take a look at the ribbon. Under Layouts, we now have the ability to generate a pipe layout or generate a placeholder layout. Let's go with the Generate Layout option. We're given the option to select one of the systems. Let's start with the Level 3 South Chilled Water Flow. Click on OK. Revit MEP has come up with some solutions. At first glance, this solution looks fairly reasonable but I do want to check how this is going to work. So before we go any further, I'm going to cancel this layout and I want to create a 3D view where I can see just level three of the building. Let's create a default 3D view. And from this default 3D view, I'm going to right click on the view cube, orient this to a view that matches a floor plan and that floor plan is going to be my level three HVAC pipe plan. Now the extents of this view are a little bit extreme, so I can select the section box and crop it even further so we can just see the building. Let's spin the model until we can see my fan core units. So now I'm going to try that process again. I'm going to select one of the fan core units and click on Generate Layout. We'll go back to that Level 3 South Chilled Water Flow. And you can see here the layout that Revit has automatically created for me. From a design point of view, it works. So why not? Well, I'll tell you why not. No plumber in his right mind is going to cut a pipe that short. So let's examine some of the options we have before we go ahead and click on Finish Layout. The solution type on the options bar gives us three network solutions. So let's actually cycle through those to start with. And at the moment, solution one is winning. Let's look at the other options. We have perimeter. Let's just look at this in a little bit more detail. Now that one doesn't look very good. And let's cycle through those different options. And intersections. So this is a good way of proving the layout before you actually accept it. Let's try changing some settings. That's looking okay. I might actually want these pipes to run higher than they are currently. Or I can manually edit the layout, select one of the pipes and move it. That looks a lot better. So let's change the other runs to match that. This is looking better by the minute. Let's drag this one. We've got two more to do. And now that I'm happy with the layout, I can click on Finish Layout and go back to my floor plan. You can see in this view that I still need to do some adjustment. Let's drag this pipe and we'll move it out further into the corridor. Selecting the one pipe has actually stretched everything so that my run stays connected. I can then repeat this task for the remaining systems.